Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 8th Global Blockchain Congress in Dubai. Um, a lot has changed since I first got involved in the blockchain industry. A, lo a lot more has changed since I signed the agreement beginning of last year in Davos with CV Labs. It has gained traction. Um, we've mo we're moving as fast as we can, but as careful as we can, ensuring that all, all regulatory uh, aspects of our business, whether it's related to ESCA or the central bank, are in place. We're not in a rush to push things through. We would like this ecosystem to be, to be healthy and, and, uh, and a good fit for everyone. We've noticed some changes towards, an attitude changes towards the blockchain and crypto industry. It seems, at least uh, for the most part, for those who felt it wouldn't fly, is now a part of reality. And I, uh, I, personally, I personally compare those who still want to avoid having anything to do with the blockchain and crypto industry, similar to those who do not have a social media profile, avoid using internets, just want to be called on the phone, maybe, or, go, or use a pager. That's the choice. Maybe it's too stressful. Not all, of, not all of us are wired the same way. Um, but what's exciting me about this new industry, this new era that we're in? Um, we in DMCC represent almost 20,000 businesses. Um, by, I expect by a month or so, we'll announce that we've crossed 20,000 companies in DMCC. Um, we're the largest oil and gas and renewable energy free zone in the Middle East and North Africa, literally representing pretty much every continent around the world. Um, and many of which are from the GCC itself. Um, we, uh, Dubai is the largest re-exporter of tea and the coffee industry is growing phenomenally fast, pushing me to uh, force a plan to expand our coffee center, tripling its size from the 15,000 square meters of temperature controlled uh, storage facility that we have. We're looking at having ice approved uh, warehousing with connected to DP World, whether that's in Rotterdam, Amsterdam, uh, and even in Dubai. And when I mention ICE approved, that pushes me to look at the, uh, the speed of business that happens on ICE exchange and, and, and understand where, what Jeff Sprecher's uh, vision is as well. And blockchain and crypto is a big part of, uh, of his future and the business that he sees, uh, the business environment that he understands. Um, we at DMCC, today are under a lot of pressure, especially after winning the best free zone of the year for the seventh time in a row. Um, we understand that uh, to replicate that or to repeat that, we can't just work the same way we did in the past two years. We have to focus and gear up and put up, uh, we have to focus and uh, be ready for where the market will be, not where it is today. And I understand that these are big leap jumps when it comes to, uh, to the blockchain industry. But one of the strategies I personally have is to ensure the diamond industry and the Dubai Diamond Exchange, the gold and commodities exchange, um, the oil industry, the cacao and coffee, all of my network understands that the crypto community is within reach. Whether that's, uh, whether we're talking about connecting with Evia that's, uh, that does uh, rating uh, on, uh, on crypto and blockchain businesses based on machine learning and AI, meaning that there's less human interaction with this, there's less prone, less prone for mistakes or corruption, something that the banking industry has to learn from. Um, recently, uh, the president of Tanzania has uh, instructed the central bank to look at the crypto industry. And I, I do get feedback. One of my key clients wanted his, uh, wanted his uh, cash in a certain currency and one local bank refused, refused to address that, refused to be client uh, friendly, I guess, in that moment. And that costed 600,000 dirhams to the to this client. Maybe it's not a big money to him, but the, but, the, but the experience is bad enough that I guarantee you this person is not going to deal with this bank ever again. They will look at stable coins. They will look at procedures that saves them money, saves them time and less hassle. So if the banking industry does not adapt, does not add crypto and at least have a symbiotic relationship, then crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum will do to the banking industry exactly what the email did to the post office. Um, I do not have any more to, to add to what I just said. 
All I want to say that DMCC is ready with our partners uh, in, uh, in, uh, with, with our partners CV Labs um, to, to provide all we can. And I want to remind everyone listening to me right now, our borders is not D Dubai and DMCC. We can find solutions through other partners for you to get to the target you need or the solution you're looking for. And, you know, we're, we're a call away, we're a tweet away, and our address is well known. We're, we're based in the, in the Al Mas Tower, the world's tallest diamond tower today. Thank you. I would like to thank Agora for putting this event together. And I'm, I know that this will be a fruitful event and we'll come up with so many new ideas and opportunities. That being said, I hope you have time in your schedule to visit our tea and coffee center and meet with the management over there, understand the planning for the, for the expansions and what technology we'll be using. Speed of service, connectivity is important, traceability is important. We've heard a lot of nice concepts on coffee and tea from crop to cup and all that nice stuff, but these are just ideas today. Maybe we can make it a reality. I look forward to hearing more from you.